Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about News of the World and this movie is directed by uh, Paul Greengrass and uh, I thought this movie was fine and basically what the plot of this movie is is that Tom Hanks is a news reporter. He reads the news to people in the year 1870 I believe and he comes across uh, this girl and uh, she's She's lost, she doesn't have a home, and she's been, like, adopted twice, and it hasn't worked out because her family keeps getting killed. It's basically just a road trip movie with Tom Hanks and this little girl, and what Tom Hanks is trying to do is just give this girl a new home. And that's pretty much the plot of the movie, and it's <laughs> kind of hard to spoil because it's a very predictable and... Not boring, I guess. I, I was entertained throughout. Uh, I was never, like, irritated. I just didn't feel anything watching this movie because I just... I didn't care. I didn't feel as though there were any stakes. And uh, this movie uses CGI at points and it looks pretty bad. The characters in this movie are just really flat and uninteresting and... Uh, they're basically the width of a piece of paper. That's how interesting they are. There's like nothing to them and all you get from them is just the dialogue that they say and you get who they are and that's it. They're not interesting. They're just very bland, just face value, boring human beings. <laughs> and it's just so uninteresting to watch. The only thing I really liked about the movie was Tom Hanks. I thought he was pretty good. I didn't like the opening shot and the ending shot of this movie. Where the opening shot of this movie is fading in from black and it, it just doesn't... It's just very handheld and it just doesn't look very professional to me. And I get that's what Paul Gringa, Greengrass does a lot. Lots of handheld and sometimes shaky cam. While watching this movie, you can definitely tell that it's a movie from him. But unfortunately, he doesn't do anything, like, impressive. There are no shots in this movie that are standing out to me, except for those two that I mentioned. And the last shot of this movie is just fade to black and then right to credits. <laughs> and that's all this movie is. It's just very surface level, does nothing offensive. It's straightforward and... That's why it doesn't really annoy me all that much, is that it's just very straightforward and it doesn't offend me, but at the same time, I would have liked there to be something a little bit more to it, but it is what it is, and this movie does remind me of Green Buck and it Dances with Wolves. It does feel like a mix between those two movies. I don't really care about Green Book or Dances with Wolves, <laughs> so... And I would say that uh, this movie is uh, about on the same level as those two movies, honestly. There was an action scene in this movie and I just thought it was so poorly handled and there was nothing interesting or fun going on visually and it really just took me out of it. It was just people shooting guns at each other and there was like nothing about it that was impressive. That's my biggest issue with this movie. It didn't impress me. <laughs> there was nothing great about it, really. And there are some side characters in this movie that have like maybe a couple minutes of screen time at most, but they have like perfect teeth and that was really distracting. Like why do characters have perfect teeth in the 1870s? <laughs> like this doesn't make any sense. And that's about all I have to say about News of the World. It's fine. There isn't really much to say about it. It's exactly what you think it's going to be. And if it looks like it's going to be something that you would like, then you will like it. If it looks like it's going to be something that you will not like, then you probably won't like it. And I was not surprised or disappointed while watching this movie. And that's because I knew exactly what it was going to be going in. I was just expecting just a road trip movie, and that's what I got. So I can't say I was disappointed, but it would have been nice for it to have something a little bit more to it. And that's all I can say about it. And I'm going to give News of the World a 5 out of 10. 
Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of News of the World and my social media links. They will all be in the description down below, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the new one on Netflix. <laughs> so, look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.